Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Michelle O'Keefe. Hey guys, Victoria Baxton here. Thanks for stopping back by my YouTube channel. Happy New Year. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Today is like January the 4th. I'm out of practice because I haven't done a video in so long, you guys. But I'm back. Okay. So, you know how we do. Um, like, share, subscribe. It's free. The first thing is don't forget to join me on Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on my YouTube channel. All right, guys. Here we go. Michelle O'Keefe was an 18-year-old American college student and aspiring actress who was murdered in Palmdale, California on her way home from appearing in a Kid Rock music video. You heard me right. The case has attracted significant media national attention, including episodes of America's Most Wanted and Dateline NBC. Michelle Teresa O'Keefe was born on October 11th, 1981 in the Hanford, oops, <laughs> sorry guys, in Hanford, California to Michael and Patricia O'Keefe. All right, so in 2005, um, Iraq War Veteran Sergeant Raymond Lee Jennings was arrested for murder and after three trials was sentenced to life in prison. Okay, after serving 11 years in prison, uh, Jennings was exonerated and set free from prison. How, you ask? I'll tell you. The Los Angeles District Attorney was persuaded of Jennings' innocence after a law student, Clinton Ehrlich, saw the case on television and began an investigation with his father, attorney Jeffrey Ehrlich. Okay. Among other points, Clinton and Jeffrey Ehrlich stated that number one, Jennings uniform tested negative for gunshot residue. Number two, his DNA did not match the visible blood underneath the victim's fingernails, which the prosecuting attorney misled the jury as being mere random blood contamination. And three, the detectives on the case had not followed through on leads of other people at the park and ride at the time of the murder, including a white male observed driving out of the parking lot immediately after the shooting. You guys, look, I believe in our justice system. <sighs> Let me rephrase that. I'd like to believe in our justice system. Unfortunately, it's been shown too many times, um, especially recently, that there's definitely some major freaking issues that need to be figured out. You know? Okay. So let me just say, um, <clears throat> excuse me. This isn't about Jennings getting off. This is about Michelle. And I was able to connect with her. Um, we talked about her friends, her family. Um, she shared a few personal things with me. Um, so I told her, like always, I explained who I was, why I wanted to connect with her. Um, and I asked her if Mr. Jennings was responsible for her death. And she said, absolutely 100% not. Okay. Um, she said she feels terrible that he suffered all those years sitting in prison when he clearly was not her murderer. Um, I asked her to tell me what happened. Okay. So let me, I wrote this down, so let me read this, okay? She said she was backing out and was going to try to get to a class that she was late for. She saw a flash of something out of her peripheral vision, <clears throat> excuse me, and suddenly there was a man knocking on her door. Knocking on her. Okay, I wrote door, I think she said window. So she rolled her window down thinking like he needed help, right? She rolled her window down. He reached in, grabbed her, unlocked the door. He said, he, he had her, okay? He had grabbed her and he said, if you just give me the car, I won't R-A-P-E you. I'm monetized now, you guys, so I can't say certain things. It's such BS. So she said, get the F off of me. You're not taking my car. And she said the next thing she knows, she felt like she was asleep. And then, bam, she ended up where she is now. So let me tell you this. I had been getting 
I had been getting the name Alex. I don't know why, but I do know it was somehow connected to this case. So I asked her, I said, does the name Alex ring a bell or mean anything to you? She said, no. She said, but I don't know the name of the guy that, that killed me, so I'm not sure. I said, okay, because I was getting the name Alex and I was also getting that the guy's girlfriend witnessed what happened and was fully aware that he's the one that killed her, um, but that she's scared. That's what I was getting, that she's scared. So let me, okay, so I finished my connection with Michelle. She was a beautiful young woman. She was amazing. Um, but let me get to this point, okay? If you were there and you witnessed your boyfriend um, killing this young woman, you need to come forward. You know, you need to come forward now. Um, the police will help protect you. You just need to come forward, you know? I mean, this woman deserves justice and her family deserves justice. You know what I mean? You just need to come forward. He, he's, not gonna, he's not gonna get to you. Just come forward, get his ass locked up in jail and then you can go on with life knowing that you did the right thing for this poor girl who lost her life for no apparent reason. You know, other than she worked her ass off, saved her money, and bought a nice Mustang. Okay, I'm a Mustang girl. <sighs> yeah, she was, I should have mentioned that at the beginning, you guys. She was in a really nice Mustang that she had bought herself. Um, she was trying to get to a class that she was running late, you know, for. Her and her girlfriend had come back from being extras in a Kid Rock movie. I mean, a Kid Rock video, music video, sorry. You need to come forward, okay? You know what happened. How can you live with that? Like, it's gotta bother you knowing this woman died at the hand of some guy that you were in love with. Like, you gotta come forward. All right, guys, don't forget Friday Night Live, 7.30. I'm working on this kind of big case that, well, you'll see. <laughs> Be nice, be kind, stay safe, stay healthy. Omicron's out there. Neighbor across the street had it pretty badly, even though she was vaccinated and boosted. And yeah, so you guys be careful. Um, I lost a friend the other day to COVID pneumonia. It was horrible. So please check on your loved ones, wear a mask, even if you're vaccinated. My friend was vaccinated and she had her booster shot and she's dead today thanks to COVID. So be safe, you guys. All right. That about does it for me. Bye, guys.